In the right class. Yes. <laughs> I know I didn't hear a no in there. How dare you? Anyway, all right, so I know no one's playing on the phone because if you do, you deserve to go to summer school this year. Now, right here, we have these ones right here. An oblique triangle is any triangle that is not a right triangle. Any triangle that's not a right triangle. Oblique. All right. Remember this in geometry? Side angle side, angle side angle. Remember those? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to be dealing with that again. And side side side. Okay? Listen, you could cringe all you want as long as you don't be an angle side side about it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You know what? I think you're gonna love the the, the sub point two. You'll like you'll like that one because that yeah. Anyway. All right. So. All right. See what you did there. See what you did there. All right. Oblique. There's the definition. Not a right triangle. All right. Blah. Blah blah blah. This is all good information. It really is because you probably forgot because you drank the bong water after your sophomore year and ended up forgetting that you did this in geometry. <laughs> or you did it yesterday, Tony. All right, uh, all right, this is the important thing. This is where you highlight, this is where you underline, this is where you draw your pretty little hearts around, okay? This is the important stuff. This is the stuff that is going to be the formulas you need. So, find this slide, highlight it. Do all that pretty stuff that you do. There is a box of highlighters in the back if you really need it. You think if you like boil eggs in like the bong water that you can make like edible hard boiled eggs? that smell? I ate nine hard-boiled eggs. <laughs> Man, my heart. <laughs> I cleared the room. Anyway, this is important. So, little a refers to a side. Capital A is an angle. All the capitals are the pointy parts in a triangle. They're the vertices of a triangle. The little ones are the sides that are across, directly across from that angle. So, big A is the angle, little a is the side across from that angle. Now, whenever we're doing these, we're doing these problems, we need to set these up, and I have to start off with a pair. I need either both A's, both B's, or both C's. On your homework when you're doing this, to, uh, hopefully you're going to do this today, you will have to draw your own triangle for most of them. Just start by drawing a triangle, filling it in, label it A, B, C, and after that, after you do your angles, then draw your side across from that. So here we go. So we have angle A here, which is my capital A. Across from that, so directly across from that is gonna be little a. That's the side that corresponds with that. Now, first thing, before I get into all of doing the law of signs, I'm going to start off with all three angles in a triangle add up to what? 180. 180, very good. All three angles in a triangle add up to 180. All three angles in a triangle add up to 180. So, you're going to solve for it, but I'm going to put it up here so you can see it algebraically. So I'm going to say that angle A, which is 32 degrees, plus angle B, which is 88, I'm sorry, 81.8, plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees. Now, if I was going to try and make this a whole lot easier, 
How would you do this in your calculator? 180 minus 32 and minus 81.8, right? And that remaining answer is going to be angle C. That remaining answer is going to be your angle C. So please do that right now. Alrighty. So, angle C. What do we get for angle C? 66.2 degrees. Now, this thing right here says solve the triangle. What it means by solving the triangle is you're going to solve all the capital letters. That means all your angles are going to have a value and all your lowercase letters. So all your sides. So you're going to have big A, little a. Big B, little b. Big C, little c. You're going to have all of them. And that's how you solve a triangle. You, you get it all. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my law of sines. My law of sines will always start off with a value or a pair that I know. Do I know both A's, both B's, or both C's? Both A's, right? I have both A's. So I'm going to start with that. You always have to start with what you know. I'm starting with both A's. So little a, which is 42.9 over sine of 32 equals. Now the next part of this is because I'm going to do a cross product eventually. I need to set up another one where I know at least one of the values. I could do it with C's or B's. And I'm going to start with the B's because it was given to me. Big B was given to me, but I don't know little b, right? Mm -hmm. I can only do this if I have only one missing variable. I can't do it if I have both missing. So little b over sine of 81.8. So little b is my missing value. That is my unknown. That's the variable I'm going to solve for. And we're going to do cross products here. So my cross products looks like this. So I'm going to multiply this way. And I'm going to multiply this way. So starting off, I'm going to get 42.9 times the sine of 81.8 and degrees. I'm going to put that in there. I didn't put it up here. I should, probably should have. There you go. Bring down my equal sign because now I'm going to look at the other side that is multiplying. So equals right here. That's important. A lot of times when I watch people do these, they mess up that equal sign. Equal sign goes to the other side. Now the purple is going to be uh, on the left side and the orange is going to be on the right side. So it's going to be B times the sine of 32 degrees. Now we're trying to find the missing variable B. I'm trying to find that value. So when I'm trying to find that value, I need to try and get the B by itself. So what's happening to my B currently? This multiplying, right? So if this is multiplication, how do I undo the multiplication? Let's divide both sides by sine 32 degrees. And on the right-hand side, you notice that the signs will go away, so I'm left with B. Now, when we plug this in the calculator, I'm going to go over here so I can do this right. When I plug this into the calculator, I'm going to my scratch pad right here. 
and I'm going to clear this so so start off with control divide a lot of people are going to make mistakes here start with control divide to set up my fraction so on top of that it was was it 42 point nine times the sine of was it 80 very good so 81.8 right and on the bottom was sine 32 and you know what I gotta fix this it's gotta be degrees so I gotta make sure I force that degrees because a lot of people on that test forgot degrees and ended up with a bunch of weird numbers so hit enter so this answer what is this answer going to end up being 80.1 so round them off to the tenth please so it's 80.1 the two doesn't make that one go up so 80.1 so in this case right here we get little b is about 80.1 what are the units here this is the little little one right so it's a side what are the units on my side centimeters, centimeters. so i'm going to put that in there very good now we're going to do this again but this time we're solving for which one little c right so i'm going to go to the next slide and I'm going to set that up. So it's going to be 42.9 over sine of 32. So always start these off with the one that's given to you, the one that you know. That's where you want to start it at. Start with the one that you know. Equals. Now this time we're going to be solving for C. So on top it's going to be little c over sine of, what did we say big C was? Yeah, 66.2 degrees, right? So 66.2 degrees. So let's go ahead and set up, because we're going to do our cross products here again. Forty two point nine times the sine of sixty six point two degrees is equal to little c times the sine of 32 degrees. Same step, divide by sine 32. Control, divide. 42.9 times the sine of 66.2 degrees over sine of 32 degrees. So make sure you're writing it out step by step on how to put this in, especially the calculator stuff. Because I don't want to have to come back and reteach you how to plug in the calculator because Keith is on his phone, you know, not doing his work. So the answer I get for this one is going to be, what's my answer? Very good, 74.1. So little c... And again, what are my units? Centimeters. So that's all you're gonna have to do when you're solving for anything example one, it says solve the triangle. That means you're solving all angles and all sides by doing this. And on yours, it's not going to give you a triangle. So start by drawing your own triangle. So I'm gonna, I highly recommend start your paper like this. A, B, C. So you do your corners first. You do your vertices first. Now, where is little A going to go? 
Opposite. Where is it going to be between? B and C. In between B and C. Very good. So it's a little A there. Little B is between? A and C. Very good. Right there. And little C is? A and B. There you go. So when you're doing this, set it up the same way every time. Yes, your triangles are going to look exactly the same. They're going to have different values, but you need to have it set up in a orderly fashion. Otherwise, you're going to get lost here. I don't want anyone to get lost on this. All right. Okay. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button and follow me at blah, blah, blah. 10% off merch store. Use passcode. I need to pass.